Hey, my name is John Cho. I'm currently the CTO for a civilian state and local business in a company called Perspecta. Based out of DC, we are a government contractor for the US federal government as well as uh, different states and local governments throughout the United States. My specialty is in uh, technology, particularly IT, biotech, energy. Really happy to be here. Love to see cool ideas come out of New Mexico State University to help make this country a better place. What insights and advice do you have for businesses at this time? For folks who want to start up a technology company and want to get really uh, some traction with what they want to sell, it really comes down to understanding not just a product or a service that you're really pitching, but what kind of business model you're going to have. So if you're uh, looking to uh, maybe say down the road, get in front of an investor or maybe two or three and you want to raise money, they're probably going to want to understand very quickly, probably three things. How much time is it going to take? How much money do you want to get here uh, invested in so you can build your product or your service? And who, who's the customer? And more often than not, they actually want to see that you have maybe some customers, uh, maybe demoing your stuff. If you're wanting to get in front of an investor, those are probably the three main things. And usually they want to see not just a, a POC or a, a demo of the technology, they do really want to see that business model. And I'm not saying writing uh, write a 50 page business plan, that's not really what I'm saying, but I think if you can articulate very quickly, again, how long it's going to take, how much money needs to be invested, and what is the customer or the customer base you're looking at, that's a great starting point in making sure they're going to pay attention to what you have to offer. What tips or strategies are important for businesses to implement? Here are some tips that I think are very important when we're in implementing strategies or approaches to building our business. First of all, in this day and age, uh, large companies have a difficult time finding good ideas because a lot of those good ideas actually sit in the university. And so one place to really get passionate people who really aren't uh, commanding like a senior salary are college students. So working with the with uh, the college community or the university community, a lot of those folks have bright minds and, and are ready to learn and also have probably learned a few things that a lot of older folks haven't. So that's a, a place where we're seeing a lot of companies, including the big ones like Google and Amazon, really spend a lot of time trying to uh, get engaged with the, with the college and university community. I would even say at this point where society is moving, even the high schools. In Philadelphia, for instance, there's a, a school program that actually moves people who have, maybe they're able to code uh, or do software development very well uh, at that age, moving straight into full-time jobs. I would look at those folks because they generally have a really, uh, just a large group of very, very uh, bright ideas that um, can really make your business be that much more distinguishable than the competition. I think the other thing is, uh, especially in the midst of the fact that we're all being very digital right now, I think learning that you, you're you building a platform. Platform is gonna have to be extensible, meaning it may do uh, one or two things, but don't just look at what it could do for maybe the customer from a uh, just from a base standpoint, but think of what else is going to make the platform stand out. So having a hook into social media channels, or making sure an e-commerce engine is hooked up to the platform as well are all gonna be pretty important. And then finally, I would say, make sure the platform is really focused on the human or the user experience. It really does matter when customer or end user gets on your technology. And I don't necessarily mean the, the, the GUI, uh, graphical user, user interface, uh, just a general experience. And that could be customer experience. That could mean just the way maybe your application is very snappy on a smartphone, uh, or it could be something that it just does very easily. Whereas when we used to do it or how we do it today, it's just very clunky and, and, and clumsy and takes a long time. So I think those three things really matter. If you're really trying to uh, get your technology company up and above the rest of the competition. What resources can businesses look to for support? Well, some resources that we could leverage, uh, especially during a time like now where there's so much going on with digital, but at the same time, we're in the midst of a pandemic. And so we're kind of isolated at the same time. There are many grants that are being offered in the Small Business Administration Agency. That's a federal agency that funds small businesses. But if you have a technology that you feel is compelling, you may also look at the military. For instance, the Office of Naval Research or DARPA 
or Department of Energy all provide grant funding to small startups who are trying to maybe generate a new kind of uh, energy or a new way to produce energy. Or maybe there's, maybe you have a technology that's going to be used in a Ford mobile hospital. That's something maybe DARPA might be interested in. Or it might be something around maybe agriculture, being able to use analytics uh, to help farmers grow produce better based on weather patterns. There's a lot of different funding coming out of all of these different agencies, but those three in particular are known for giving out lots of grants to all sorts of use cases. And just because you say Office of Naval Research, you're not necessarily having to design a warship. I mean, it literally could be just a propeller design. Uh, it could be a, a new way for ships to communicate with each other. It could be a new type of battery. I and mean, there's many different things that the government's interested in and is willing to pay top dollar. And I would say even on top of that, that even doesn't mean some folks think, oh, well, if I go to DARPA or ONR, I'm going to be owned by the government. And that's not true. They're there to actually fund you to become a successful business. Yes, they would like to leverage uh, the research and the technology you've developed, but they're not looking to take it all away. It's really a partnership. I just want to say to all you NMSU Aggies out there, you guys are some of the smartest people I've ever met and studied with. I just want to encourage you to keep on thinking high come up with those ideas. There's a, a, a strong group of alum here that I, people I know personally, I still keep in touch with that are willing to help out and get these ideas out there, uh, not just to help in developing a business, but help society in general. So stay safe. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Bye. This video was brought to you by the New Mexico Economic Development Department, Office of Science and Technology. Discover more resources to support your business at arrowheadcenter.nmsu.edu.